Hello, in this C programming video, I'm going to show you how to create a function with a variable number of arguments. And this can have a return type or it cannot have a return type. That's totally up to you. We'll make you have a return type just similar to the adder from before. So right now we've got a method called adder that takes in two numbers. And well, before it was actually, you know, it actually still does, but it has a little extra check here. But you'll add the two numbers together and say print them out. But we can return it as well. But what if we don't know how many numbers we want to add together? Like, what do we do then? That's where you can use, you know, this feature of a variable number of, you know, parameters, also known as arguments. First of all, we need to do another hash include. And this is going to be std arg.h. And now... What we'll do is we want to set up so it returns a you know value. I'll get rid of all this code. And what you have to do is you put int, and I'm going to call this count, comma, dot, dot, dot. And what this basically is saying is how many numbers are you passing in? And then this is the numbers that you're passing in. And it's as a sort of a VA list, which is a variable argument list. These are also, you know, called arguments as well, not just parameters, hence why, you know, variable argument. And to call it, let's say if we have adder and uh, let's say if I do printf, and I want to say some, I'll just say someone, and I'll do sent i backslash n and i just put adder and to call this you specify how many numbers you're passing in let's keep it simple let's say two so two and then separated by commas in here and it says it's a known style to press another space just so you can distinguish between the count and the actual arguments themselves that are going to be, let's say, added here. So an extra space. And let's say if we put 5, 9. So them added together should get 14. Okay. In here, we need to create a VA list. And I'm going to call it list. Now what we need to do is we need to initialize the VA list for the number of, you know, arguments that we have. So VA underscore start. And we specify the list, which is called list. And then we specify count like so. Now what we need to do, we can actually just access all the arguments that are in the list. For, to do that, we just do a for loop. And for int i equals zero, i less than count i plus plus. Pretty simple stuff so far. Then we'll say, we'll actually create a variable here called int sum equals zero and sum plus equals and we're just going to add it on to the total of sum so far we just put va underscore arg this is how you get the argument you specify the list and you specify int oh why is that an asterisk that should be there we go. I was pressing the wrong key for some reason. Do not know why. That was very strange. And do, 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 put a semicolon there. And what we need to do now is just put VA underscore end, which we need to end the list. Basically, we need to, there's memory that's been, been reserved for the VA list, and we need to clean it. And we specify the list. And we can return sum, for example. So if we give this a run, we should get, I think 14 is it? I think we had, yeah, someone. And we'll say is, you know, 14, for example. And But yeah, that's it. So what you do, let's go over it again. You create a variable argument list. This is also optional. You have to basically start this and this just initializes it based on the number of arguments, then you loop over it. Don't need to specify i, you know, here. What you do is specify the list, then you specify int. And this int has a specific size. 
in you know memory on the system and what you'll do you just jump that amount to the next you know amount and you'll just know okay this is the next argument this and this is the next you know value value and you'll just keep and you just keep going through it and you just need to loop that many times and you'll just keep doing the jumps this cleans up memory this returns let's actually do it so we have let's say more more than you know this amount of private let's say five so five nine five twenty three and let's say zero let's test out zero and we'll, we'll actually let's test out a minus as well and we'll put six for this so we shall one two three four five six let's add it up together 14 19 19 plus 23 is what about 42 42 we should get 36 for sum two sum two is 36 and the first sum should still be here and there we go so that is how you create a function that takes in a variable number of parameters can be really useful if you don't know well if you don't know how many are going to be passed in instead of creating let's say if you know you're passing either two three four or five yeah you could create three different methods of two three four or five there'll be four different you know methods instead you could just do this if you know the functionalities it's going to be very similar like you just add in it you just average in it you just you know gain the dot product of it you know anything like that then it's very simple to do so that is it. If you have any questions, feel free to join the Discord group. There's a programming channel in there. And I look forward to seeing you in the next awesome programming video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.